It can soothe the sore throat, is an excellent sinus decongestant, it relieves joint pain and can help stop bleeding both externally and internally. This amazing herb is cayenne pepper and it's the herb of the month. Cayenne is a type of chili pepper and has been used for its culinary and medicinal properties for centuries. The pepper is native to Central and South America and is now grown all around the world. And by the end of this video, I hope to convince you to plant it in your garden. Cayenne and all the hot peppers contain capsaicin, which is responsible for its heat. And while many of us, but not all of us, enjoy this heat in our food, capsaicin has been found to have a number of medicinal properties also. If you mix a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne powder in a cup of warm water and gargle it, you can soothe the sore throat caused by sinus drainage or infection. Although initially cayenne causes heat in your mouth, give it a minute. The capsaicin acts directly on the nerves to numb the pain after a few moments, but don't use too much. A quarter of a teaspoon is plenty to calm that sore throat. Cayenne has been shown to be effective in reducing pain associated with conditions such as osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and diabetic neuropathy. It works by depleting substance P, a chemical that transmits pain signals in the body. When made into a salve or liniment, then rubbed directly on your aching joints, it can provide local relief. When taken internally, it can relieve migraine headaches. Again, mix one-fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne powder in a cup of hot water, but drink it this time. If you are new to herbal medicine, it may seem a bit overwhelming, but you don't have to know everything about every herb. Even master herbalists don't know everything about every herb. But if you can know five or ten herbs really well, knowing what they are used for, how they are used, and who shouldn't use them, you can take care of most of the health issues you and your family face. By concentrating on one herb each month, by the end of the year, you will be confident in using 12 herbs safely and effectively. So what else is cayenne used for? Cayenne has been found to have anti-inflammatory effects. Part of its pain relieving effects is its ability to relieve inflammation that can contribute to pain. Other inflammatory issues that cayenne can help relieve include itching from insect bites or rashes. It may zing a bit when first applied, but give it a minute and it should help that itch. It is also used to treat shingles that are no longer open sores but are still causing pain. In fact, it's manufactured and sold as an over-the-counter cream. Some studies have found that cayenne can help improve cardiovascular health by decreasing blood cholesterol levels, reducing blood clots, and improving circulation. Dr. John Christopher, a master herbalist who started practicing in 1946, states in his book Herb Syllabus that cayenne can help stop a heart attack. I couldn't find any scientific studies on this claim, but if you think you or someone you are with is having a heart attack, call 911 first, then place a small pinch of cayenne pepper in their mouth. Cayenne has been shown to lower blood pressure through vasodilation in rats, which reduces the amount of work the heart has to do while you're waiting for the ambulance. Some research has suggested that cayenne may have potential as a cancer-fighting agent. The capsaicin has been shown to act on the genes of cancer cell causing decreased cell reproduction, decreased metastases, and cancer cell death. However, more research is needed to confirm these findings. Cayenne increases your metabolism and may have the potential to aid weight loss by reducing appetite. This increase in metabolism can also help warm you on a cold winter's day, so sip on a cup of cayenne tea. Cayenne also encourages your body to produce more saliva and stomach acids to help break down your food. This makes the nutrients in your food more bioavailable. When your body has the nutrients it needs to function properly, you don't get hungry, which can also help you lose weight. It can also help blood vessels increase blood flow to the stomach to aid in digestion and reduce the risk of ulcers. If you have ever eaten foods that contain a lot of hot pepper, you already know that it is an excellent sinus decongestant and will open up a stuffy nose fast. Another way to use cayenne as a decongestant is to add one-fourth to one-half teaspoon to a pan of just boiled water to create a steam tint. Just cover your head and the pan with a large towel and breathe in the steam to help open up those sinuses. This same treatment will help a cough due to a cold or the flu. Cayenne is an excellent styptic, which means it stops bleeding and can be used on minor wounds. For a cut or scrape, sprinkle a small amount of cayenne powder on the wound. 
Yes, it's going to sting for a bit, but it will stop the bleeding and the pain relieving properties will stop the pain in a few minutes. When handling cayenne, do not touch your eyes. Be very careful when making or applying medicinal forms of cayenne. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and running water to prevent accidentally getting it into your eyes. If you do get it in your eye, immediately flush the eye with cool running water for five minutes. Unless you are allergic to peppers or other members of the nightshade family such as potato, tomato, or eggplant, cayenne peppers should be safe for you. And you don't have to use just cayenne peppers. Any hot pepper will have the same medicinal properties, so if you prefer to grow jalapenos, serranos, or if you're really brave, ghost peppers, they'll work also. To make a tea, place 1 4th teaspoon of cayenne powder in a cup of just boiled water. Allow this to steep covered for 10 minutes. Stir this and then drink it. Teas may be kept in the refrigerator for two to three days. To make a liniment, put two tablespoons of cayenne flakes in a pint of rubbing alcohol. Shake this daily and allow it to sit for two weeks to extract the medicine. Label this with cayenne liniment, shake well for external use only and keep away from eyes. Liniments have no expiration date. Store this in a cool dark place. To make a simple salve, in a crock pot with a just warm setting, add one tablespoon of cayenne pepper flakes to one half cup of olive oil and heat on warm for one to two hours. Strain the pepper flakes out of the oil with a fine sieve and make sure that the crock pot has no flakes left in it. Return the oil to the crock pot and add two tablespoons of beeswax pellets, stirring until the beeswax is melted. Then add the contents of one vitamin E400 IU capsule to extend the shelf life of your salve. Immediately pour the warm salve into a jar or ointment tin. Label this with cayenne salve, keep away from your eyes, and expires in two years. To make a tincture, put one ounce by weight of cayenne pepper flakes in a mason jar and cover this with five ounces by weight of 80 proof or higher alcohol. Put a lid on it tightly and set it aside for two to four weeks, shaking it daily. Then strain through a fine mesh sieve and place it in a dropper bottle. On the label, write cayenne tincture one to five. Keep away from your eyes. No expiration date. Store it in a cool, dark place. Peppers are perennial in tropical climates, but if you have any kind of cold weather, they will die. You can grow peppers in a pot inside to keep them growing year-round, or you can grow new plants every year. They're very easy to grow and love full sun and hot weather. Because it takes a while before they start bearing fruit, you will either want to buy pepper plants from the nursery or start them from seeds inside your house about eight weeks before transplanting them outside. You can put them outside once the nighttime temperatures are consistently over 55 degrees Fahrenheit. If you would like to learn more about using herbs as medicine, click here. Thank you for joining me today to learn about using cayenne pepper as medicine. Stay healthy, keep your hands away from your eyes, and have a blessed week.